Hey guys, this is Wack Kortnev here on Specky Tutorials. And in this first video, I'm gonna show you which software to install to develop for that Sinclair computer from the 82. Now, in order to make applications, you're, need, you're going to need a compiler, and that is Bazin. This compiles basic into tapes for the spectrum also has a nice emulator but the emulator is not quite good not as good as it should at least so I recommend you to also install Amusewin or Spectaculator I use the latter but it's bad so if you want a free one and without pirating anything without anything else you can get Amusewin that works just fine like you see but it has some bugs with the toolbar on Windows 7. Yeah. And also you're going to need ZX Paintbrush in order to create images for the spectrum. Okay. And for the first video I'm going to show you how to make a music disc out of a MIDI file and the picture. Like you have seen my cover of the Hyoka anime editing on my primary channel EPOZ. So I have a folder with an album art and that is a very low resolution picture because this Pecky has a very low resolution screen and the MIDI file from Josh's um, anime sheet music archives I have edited it with Anvil Studio so that it would not play more than one or two notes at once on one MIDI channel because AY chip is very limited and you're gonna also need a program MIDI to AY all the links to the programs will be added into the video description so open up the command line and CD into the folder where you have unpacked MIDI to AY. Then type in MIDI to AY and drag in the MIDI file so it would insert the path for you. Click tab enter and it should create an audio tape file for your spectrum but it's not what we're gonna need. After all, music is nice, but we need the picture on the screen as well. That's where ZX Paintbrush comes along. You click open and select the picture. Now you can mess with the color settings, but I don't bother doing it. I just like Atkinson dithering. It's pretty nice as well, isn't it? Click OK and here you have it. Set the zoom factor to 300 so you'd be better in selecting the part of the image you want to grab click in the top left hand corner of the image and then somewhere in the on the right hand corner where you want the image to end like that now press ctrl c to copy to the clipboard then click new and click screen file tap ctrl v and your image is there Click the deselect button and you're done. Now let's put in some text. I have a ZX Spectrum like font for that reason. So oops. Well, yeah. Use the text tool in order to type in some text and place it on the image. done. Now click save and name it like picture. It will save with the SCR extension so your computer will think it's an executable but it's not. Now here's where Basin comes along. You start it and go to tools, take creator. 
then click file open tape image and open the tape we have created in the midi 2 ay step remove the bootloader it's named load in spanish and you'll be left with these song bytes rename it to song now click add from file and select your picture now you have two files on your tape bytes song and bytes picture but you don't have any program there right so switch to the editor and start typing first the line number that's the standard basic syntax for example 10 and then we have to write the bootloader and it should fit into one single basic line that's why we'll be using the column separators to separate the instructions first we have to clear the address for loading the song that is by default it's the 32767 the code will start from 32768 but we have to clear it a bit earlier colon load song code colon now output the picture to the screen load picture screen and the dollar sign colon and then to jump to the song code randomize USR 32678 Okay, all is fine and then add from current program Here have your program Move it all the way to the top of the tape and rename it to like loader Click auto start and to enable it and then type in the line number you've entered in the editor in my case it's 10 click ok file save image as and name it like whatever you want but don't forget the .tap extension or it will not save it at all click save and you can close basin as well now start up your favorite emulator ok click tape select tape loader and then press play still loading ok it's done now load the picture in, right into the screen memory here's the amazing part Notice how the sound changes with the image? Yeah, it's raw encoding. And it's done. Pretty awesome for a Hello World program. And pretty nice to understand how the audio tapes work, especially the data tapes. Everything is like in a folder on your file system. It just has multiple files. They can be either program or bytes. Well, bytes can be an image or an assembler program, machine code program, whatever it is. Uh, enjoy the music.
well, experiment, try your own songs, and you might get even better results with some other MIDI files. As I said, you need to prepare them. And I suggest using Anvil Studio, it's free. And well, that's it for the first video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and see you later. Goodbye.